What's going on everyone? Cannabis Express 420 here. In this video, I want to cover those purple stems, what causes them, how to avoid them, and how to fix them. If this is your first time here, and you guys want to learn how to grow cannabis, get cannabis tips, tutorials, all that good stuff, everything cannabis related, hit that red subscribe button down below. I will be answering questions on the regular and by on the regular, I mean Mondays and Thursdays. You guys know what it's about. Let's get into it. So purple stems. A lot of people, you know, they get them. It's a problem sometimes, but sometimes it isn't. And we're going to talk about that. So when we talk about purple stems, we want to know what causes them. It could be environment or it could be genetics. Environment covers a lot of things such as lights, temperature, and how they're being watered, and genetics cover things like how they were bred and such like that. Uh, when it comes to genetics, if it is a genetic issue, it will cause no further problems. It's just how the plant is. And if you have no other conditions with the climate that are wrong or your feeding schedule or how much you're feeding them, the genetics won't be a big issue. But we're going to talk about what what would cause purple stems as a problem indicator or an indicator that you need to change something? So the first thing I'm going to talk about is temperature. A very popular stage to get purple stems in is the veg stage. The veg stage is where a lot of your problems are going to arise. It's going to be where you're getting a lot of things dialed in. And it's where you're going to be creating robust plants to be transferred into the flower stage. If anything is wrong with your temperature or your water, or your lights, things like purple stems can happen. Uh, we're mainly going to focus on the watering and the temperature for the purple stems, uh, as it's unlikely for lights to cause them, or it's a little bit less likely. If you have a high um, intensity on your lights, you will probably get light bleaching, which is uh, something I've covered in a video before. And if you don't have enough light, you're going to get a long stretch, but I don't think um, the lights will cause the stems to turn purple. So we're going to get into the temperature. So in cannabis plants, the stems can turn purple in either extreme. Either your temperature is too high or your temperature is too low. Now, if you're venturing into the low 60s or even mid 60s at the veg stage point, um, it will probably cause a purple stem and it's pretty easy to monitor uh, the temperatures. Just get like a thermometer, put it in your grow space um, at canopy level or around the canopy where the plants are would be your best bet because then you get to know what the air temperature is around the plants and if you need to change that. If it gets too high, like in the high 80s, it can also cause the purple stem. So make sure your garden is in the 75 to 80 range for the veg stage and make sure the humidity is in check uh, you're going to want it in probably the 70s and 80s also uh, for the veg stage. Get that moisture in the air. They really like that. Um, but yeah, make sure your temperature and your humidity are in check. Make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. Um, and make sure it's getting the energy it needs. So let's talk about watering now. With watering, it could be two things. It could be that you're overwatering, or it could be that you're overfeeding or you're underfeeding. So with the overwatering, obviously, uh, anyone who's been growing cannabis for a long time knows that, or any amount of time really, knows that these plants need a dry period where they kind of dry off and don't get water for a little while until they're at a um, dry point where you stick your uh, finger in to the first knuckle. And if it's bone dry, then it needs to uh, be watered, obviously. But if you're watering too often, and you have a continuous saturation of the pot, it won't be able to uptake all the nutrients. Your plant's gonna get stressed uh, because the roots need oxygen. So it's gonna be depraved of the oxygen that it needs and the stems will turn purple. If you are overfeeding, you can cause a nutrient lockout. And if you're underfeeding, it means it's not getting enough of a certain type of nutrient and your plants will overall start to develop purple stems. And finally, if your plant is genetically turning purple, you will change your temperature. You'll make sure it's in check and monitored. 
you will feed it a certain way, uh, follow the breeder or the uh, manufacturer's recommendations if you're growing in bottles, and um, probably do a nutrient tea. But if nothing changes from the correction, it's probably because it's genetic, which I haven't observed a lot of uh, genetic purple stems, but I have seen stems turn purple before. And after I do the correction, correctional measure, which is normally a watering issue, uh, normally I'd be watering too often, uh, it fixes the problem. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you got uh, value out of this video, please hit the like button. And uh, if you have not yet, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much.